Okay, folks, so that right there is a free piston Sterling engine. That's a home brew thing that uh, I finally got to work. And uh, it was a lot harder than I thought. Um, I used a design by a guy named Blade Telia. He's from Hungary. And uh, it's a couple of cans, uh, one inside of another, with latex diaphragms that set up this harmonic and uh, create this uh, free piston phenomena, uh, Sterling engine thing. And if you put a magnet on that and then coil a wire around it, uh, you would generate electricity. Or if you ran it the other way and vibrated it with electricity, you'd cool down that and make a refrigerator out of it. And this is what it is. It's a um, very simple design that you could build in your kitchen, I, I did, uh, that uses a tomato juice can and then a couple of uh, soda cans and then uh, one is placed inside the other and the latex glove, the white latex glove is um, uh, rubber banded around the, uh, the cans and then on this can here, the tomato juice can there's a metal support that I crazy glued to the top of this can here right there with the crazy glue so it hangs free in the can and you notice mine doesn't make any noise because I put enough clearance on this now uh, the the design I used was this blade of Telia I, I can't pronounce the name correctly I'm sorry but uh, it was excellent series of videos on these free piston sterling engines and he and uh, Simi or Semi um, another gentleman have gone to, to um, um, bellows, rubber bellows here and made a much better um, design but uh, I wanted to stay with this very simple design as the first one and like I say it's it took a while to get this right you have to have an, the correct amount of weight up here and I used a C-cell battery uh, he used uh, varying um, weights up here and he got much better response he also had a longer much longer engine with a longer displacer and he uh, he has done a number of things in here to make this more efficient and he's also connected this to a flywheel mechanism to make a wheel go around but um, this was what I wanted to do is get something to run that was very simple uh, in your kitchen and I like to say this is uh, this is what I came up with here and uh, this battery was attached with a uh, magnet to the top of that displacer notice how it's concave now uh, this is a sealed unit, this thing here. And this is what I wanted. I wanted a sealed system that was hermetically sealed. Now, the uh, one that's used in the Coleman refrigerator, they use helium. And uh, they pressurize helium for the refrigerant. But the idea was on this was if you vibrated this just right, this would get cold down here at the bottom. And that's how the... Um, Coleman Sterling engines, um, the twin bird from Japan Sterling engine works is they vibrate this at a high frequency and then that sets up this dynamic in the Sterling engine backwards and it cools this part of the Sterling engine and this is what really really interested me about the Sterling engines is they're very very efficient. They are not the same um, cycle that a refrigerant uses. Um, this is a different type of uh, system than what's normally in a refrigerator. So that's where I'm at right now. And like I say, right here, this is a piece of wet paper towel. Uh, there's a joint between the two cans. You notice they're two different colors. Uh, one's inside the other, very similar to my little uh, alcohol stoves. They're taped together to, to make it sealed. And then uh, when this gets hot, this gets into a vibration. Um, and that can be... Uh, transmitted uh, into a bell crank system for a wheel if you want to or you can run it backwards like I say and you can cool down the bottom part of this so this is something that uh, I wanted to, to get as a first step and uh, go from there but uh, um, this was hard uh, this took uh, three or four days to um, get this sorted out this was the most critical thing here is you have to have the right weight uh, the tension on the diaphragm has to be right the pressure inside the vessel has to be right uh, this distance here has to be correct. 
So uh, not an easy project, um, but it's something that I wanted to do. And I thank this gentleman right here for his excellent videos on how to make this uh, simple three-piston Stirling engine. Thanks for watching.